Uh, what's going on today? How's the streak, right? <laughs> another episode of Honda Sweat Garage where it's 30,000 degrees outside and we're trying to do some shit. So Thomas, I had this dent right here. We have to notch out the dent right there for the alternator, and then we have to we have to cut this off. We have to cut this off, right? Something else too, like right here. No, uh, I mean that's I believe it's just that. So here is our new transplant LSV Tech with a GSR head. This is our old tired motor. Four cell. Really drilling the spot was out is the right way, but we don't give a fuck. Who gives a fuck? This is Honda Street Garage, not <laughs> Honda. <laughs> Yeah, but we fucking flip flop off. game. We should really do this from the bottom. All right, hold up, hold up, stop, stop. AC lines are in the way. It's the final countdown. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, I guess that's about Stop. You want to go some more? Yeah. It should be good. Drop it down a little bit. Oh, hot ham and cheese? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's only doing one, one two, two, three. Nope. One, two off. Yeah, that's three. <laughs> How fast can I drink this water? Sit down. You can't do it. Hold on. How fast can you crush these headers? He's <laughs> like, mm-mm. 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 M
Dang, I ain't doing it. Oh, I dropped this bitch. I don't give a fuck. You better ask him. Ask about it. You better ask him about it. Oh, oh, come on, Savage. Hey, too much. Me shit. Good lord. I told you, I dropped it. Get that jack in hand going, boy. Oh, God, I haven't dragged it in so long. That's good. Good? You hear it? Mmm. I'm still dropping. Well, let drop loose, drop down low. Drop it down. Get in there and tighten it back up. But let me see if they're no. You hand me that end pipe here. Oh, you want this thing? Yeah, is this the end pipe? I don't think that's gonna fit. <laughs> I got a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling. I didn't want to hear that one. Take that secret by it. <laughs> I don't know what to do when I get recorded. I ain't never been on camera before. <laughs> this guy. All this technology scares me. Yeah, look at the problems we're running into, dude. All I drive is Honda's. Honda Civic accessories. <laughs> you want to know my real issue? It is too damn hot outside, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Mm -hmm. Hey, what, what's got going on with that? Huh? It's just money. It's got to come out? No, damn it. You taking you can... <laughs> You're looking too far into it. Andrew. I got you. I can stop talking to you. Who's water is this? Anybody. Which one you want? Can you steal it? <laughs> Hit. Who the fuck is calling my fucking cell phone? What the fuck do you want? CRX swap suck. Palm Street Garage. Don't do CRXs. God damn, how long is this bitch? That's super long. I'm gonna back up some more. Some more. That boy is sweating like a hooker in church. <sighs> My parents have to me, I gotta get that money. Bitch, you better walk through raindrops. All right, now you gotta do is tighten that one in your Gucci. And then drop the stuff in. And then cut it. Then wire it up. I then run the damn. Don't let that happen to you. Here we stand. We got the motor in, but cross member still needs to be cut. We're out of discs. Blades coming tomorrow. Bug. No. Huh. Okay, we finally got the motor in the car. Everything's pretty much buttoned up. Got to get the battery put in so we can do a first startup. Fresh liquids through the motor. A little tip so when you're putting a B-series and the CRX or EF chassis in general is alternator. You're gonna need to beat in the frame slightly. We kind of went a little excessive with it. But, you know, it's better to do more than later because it's, it's pretty hard to do it once the motor's in the car. What else did we do? You know, you're gonna have to get swap mounts. Let's see. <clears throat> oh god. As you can see on the subframe, if I can get some light, we had to cut the factory subframe. I would suggest buying a subframe if you can, if you plan ahead. 
we kind of forgot about that step. You can do factory, you just have to cut it quite a bit. We're also running a hydro transmission on this setup. So much stuff, it's hard to see. So we have a cable to hydro conversion. Not really positive on the brand on this one. I believe innovative. What else do you have to do? And cut that subframe, I made a harness, put OBD2 injector clips. Also made a conversion harness for the distributor, which is OBD0 to OBD2A. I took off the injector resistor box, also changed the alternator plug for the most part. This was an SI car, so the harness was already multi-port, which wasn't very bad. You know, you had to do a multi-port, or a dual port to multi-port conversion if you have just a dual port car. And that's pretty much it. We're going to throw the battery in here and see if we can get it to start up. Something you want to do anytime you put a new swap in a car, you know, check for leaks like fuel leaks at the filter or at the rail, your injectors, your return, check for water leaks or anything, you know, all your hoses. Make sure you check your oil before you originally start the motor. You don't want to start a brand new motor up with no oil. I always like to disconnect the distributor and turn the motor over a couple times to get oil pumped around a fresh motor. Yep, that's pretty much it. We got the battery all connected. We're about to try to do a first startup on the new motor. All right, time for first startup. Go ahead and try it. It's our budget LSV tech swap. Nothing budget about this. Budget. This is $10,000 in motor work. Fully built GSR LSV tech. You don't want the love? Let's go. Start it up. No. So, uh, what's good with it? <laughs> Alright, Thomas, can you tell us what the status update is? Well, it rattles. And the speed sensor. Right I'm I'm taking the cluster hood off. Why? Because I want to. So we can do what? Fix shit. Fix stuff. Sorry. What are we fixing? We're going to try to put the speed sensor cable in because it doesn't work. <laughs> so all we need to do is get our speed sensor plugged in. And then wire up VTAC and then run this wire a little better and we should be good. <coughs> we'll be ready to ride. We have a little jumper harness down here. Oh, oh sorry. You good? Purple and gray go together. Purple is the VTEC, gray is the VTEC pressure, but we have it deleted on the ECU. So we're running those together. This is the cleanest car you'll ever see in your life. Ain't that right? Uh -huh. This is Mr. Fancy Pants Miguel himself. This is that O'Reilly shit. <laughs> Check out your local O'Reilly's for all your needs. It's pulling strong. <laughs> it's pulling strong. And then it blew the fuck up. Grab that water hoodges. Alright, watch out because this clutch be jumping. That's nice right there. He said, don't record that. <laughs> <laughs> don't use an automatic starter. Smoky. <laughs> this 
sitting so long. Is she working? Yeah. Lots of gas. So we finally got the budget CRX done. Just basically using old stuff laying around. Seems to work pretty good.